Welcome to the Rise Up For You podcast, where thought leaders, entrepreneurs, and executives from around the world share their practical tips, strategies, and stories to help you unleash your potential and achieve your goals. Your journey of growth to become your best starts now. Hi, everyone. Welcome. This is Natalina Nasruddin, the CEO and the founder of Rise Up For You. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Sometimes I bring an amazing guest and thought leader that talks with us about workplace well-being, soft skills, leadership, business. But today I'm coming at you alone. And I just want to share with you some great insights and some takes that we have gotten this week. So some of you may or not know, may or may or not know that uh, you know, Rise Up For You, we work with organizations and individuals around the world to teach soft skills, leadership, all the people's skills that are incredibly important that can increase profitability and performance within an organization. And we love to share the things that are happening live in the moment for us when we're working with companies, when we're working with individuals. And today, I want to talk with you a little bit about empathy and expectations. This is a theme that we came across this week with one of our corporate clients and some of our leaders that we've been coaching. And I think it's something really important to address is how do we show empathy while at the same time maintain expectations as a leader? So let's break this down a little bit. Let's talk about empathy, you know, in the start from the beginning here. So there's three types of empathy. Okay. We have cognitive empathy, which means I understand what you're going through on a cognitive level. That's the most basic form of empathy. Okay. Then we have emotional empathy, which is I'm so empathetic to the situation or to the persons that I can feel it emotionally in my body as well. So sometimes maybe you cry, maybe you feel that feeling in your throat, maybe you might feel it in your stomach. And the third type of empathy is called empathic concern. This is where you're so empathetic and you're so moved by the situation that an action must be taken. You are so moved by what you're hearing or witnessing that you're gonna take an action. Oftentimes, uh, these are individuals that run nonprofits, for example, that they are so moved by a cause or by a situation that they're going to go build a nonprofit and take action in that sense. Now, empathy is incredibly important in the workplace. And we know this because research shows that when you have leaders that are empathetic, it creates psychological safety. It creates a brighter and a kinder culture. It creates relatability and understanding and the gateway to coaching and mentoring when the leader can show empathy to their trustees, right? To the individuals that they're supporting, to their employees. By the way, it also goes the other way as well, right? Employees showing empathy to their leaders can also create a stronger relatability and connection. But the challenge is, is that sometimes as leaders, we can feel maybe pressured that we have to people please, right? And so empathy becomes a people pleasing mechanism, not so bueno in the workplace, right? So it's really important that impactful and influential leadership understands how to show empathy while at the same time providing clarity, feedback and support that still meet expectations for organizational development and health and growth. It is possible to have both. So as a leader, what we really want to do is exercise the active listening, exercise the acknowledgement of empathy when you're working with your team members, whilst at the same time, having clarity, okay, providing feedback, and providing outcomes and solutions that can continue to support both situations, both the individual that you're supporting and the organization itself. This is impactful and inspirational leadership. We do not want the extreme. The extreme is that you're not empathetic enough and all you're doing is thinking about the organization. And the other side of that is you're so empathetic that the organization and the rest of your team and the things that need to happen aren't getting done. We got to meet right in the middle. So remember, the greatest leaders are the ones that are able to find, I'm not even going to say that balance, but the middle ground of showing empathy, active listening, while being able to steer the situation in a positive direction for the greater good of the organization and the company. So I hope that helped. As mentioned, I'm Netalina, the CEO and the founder of Rise Up For You. 
you know, every week we have these episodes, we bring on thought leaders and guests, but we're also in the trenches on a daily basis, working with individuals and organizations around the world. And I like to think we have a pretty strong pulse on what's happening, especially when it comes to culture, people, and these soft skills that are so necessary. So I hope today's golden nugget on empathy and expectations helps you and I'll see you next time.